In this lesson, we're going to learn how to render two different kinds of scenes. One is going to be a nighttime scene, and the other will be a daytime scene from the same position. We obviously have a nighttime scene here. Over on the right-hand side, select on the picture of the camera. That's the photo button. And what I'd like to do to begin this is to take a picture of the site as it currently is. So I'm going to move my cursor up here, highlight over one of the areas where these pictures are at, in this case, I'm just going to highlight over where the white background is in the camera. Then I'm going to pick on this camera. This is going to take a picture of the scene. Now we have the scene as it currently is with the lighting conditions that we had it set up as. We now need to do a rendering. What I'd like to do is do a 1280 by 720 email size rendering of this scene. Click on where it has email 1280 by 720. It's going to ask, where do you want to place this? Make sure to place it in your Working Files folder on your desktop. I'm going to call this Commercial Exterior Night and select on Save. Now it's going to go through the process of going through 16 different variations or refinements of this scene until it has the scene rendered. Once that's done, the next thing I'd like to do is create the same condition except for a daytime scene. To do this, I'm going to come up here to the upper left-hand corner and select on New Effect. Move down here and select on Sun underneath the World tab. Once you've done that, you'll now see Sun as one of the options here. There'll be the ability to select what the Sun's height is. So if you click where this red is in the bar and pull this over, you'll begin to see the sun casting its light down on the scene. In this case, I'm going to shift it over to about a 0.4. There's also an option there for sun brightness, so if this is too bright, then you can adjust that as well. There's a sun heading, so if you don't like the direction that the sun is heading in, you can click on this, pull this across, in order to adjust the way that your shadows are being cast here in the scene. In this case, I'm going to shift this over, and I'd really like the sun to be casting its light toward the building. So in this case, I'm moving that over to a 0.4, making sure that these shadows are moving toward the building. Once again, I'm going to do the same kind of rendering of our scene. In this case, I'm going to do email 1280 by 720 again. I'll name this Commercial Exterior Day, and then select on Save. And it will go through the same type of processing again to create this image. Once that process is done, we can go out to our desktop and take a look at what those final images look like. So I'm going to move up here. I'm going to minimize Lumion. I'm going to move over to my Working Files folder, expand that out. There are many files in here now due to all the exercises that we've been doing. We can now see that there's a commercial exterior night as well as a commercial exterior day. We double click on those images, we'll get to see the difference between a nighttime scene and a daytime scene. Depending on how close we are, the lighting conditions, how close we are to the building, certain scenes are going to look better in the daytime or certain scenes might look better in the nighttime. So it's always important to pick your different lighting conditions and different angles so you capture your scene in a way that it'll present itself the best.